Hello and welcome back to Zoe Sews, I'm Zoe and today I'm going to be going through the second part of my video for my ball gowns. Here you can see um, Janine's ball gown, which, well not the final ball gown, but uh, this is the kind of like final wearable twirl version. I think I'm going to have to extend the bodice slightly, um, but I think that's the only alteration that needs to be made from this. Or I might extend it from the neckline because it's halter neck. If I, ooh, trying to turn it round, which is hard because the skirt is getting caught in the wind. Oh, oh my god. There we go. There we go. As you can see, it's backless and um, kind of like my one, really. Um, so it's backless and um, this will be covered with lace. I'm actually going to use this for the final thing, I think. I think I'm just going to add a little tab up here to make it a little bit longer. That's how I'm going to do it. And um, yeah, this is going to be covered in lace. This is going to be chiffon, which is then going to have um, crepe underneath and maybe another layer. I don't think it'll need another layer. I think it would be fine with just the crepe and the chiffon over the top. So that's my plan for Janine's dress with the turn background. But the skirt's getting caught in the wheels. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you updated on the progress of that one throughout this video. So, my samples have arrived and I've actually ordered my fabric. And there's been a slight update in the in my dress that Minerva Crafts, since I'm doing this video, have been super, super kind and they are sponsoring this video, which I probably talked about more in the first video at the beginning. Um, but I am super happy that they've decided to sponsor me um, because... Well, ball gowns eat up a lot of fabric. So here are my samples. So I picked up uh, the Florenza crepe, the peach skin, and the soft crepe. So the soft crepe, um, actually I think the peach skin was the cheapest fabric, and I just wanted to kind of see what it felt like. I do actually really, really like the peach skin. However, it is only available in I think lilac, orange, and a bright, bright blue, which is fine. As you can see, I'm not opposed to bright, bright blue, um, but it was more like a kind of primary color where it not, you know what I mean? More of like a cobalt blue. I can't quite remember the color, but I just, I wasn't quite happy. I don't really like lilac on me. Yeah, so that's why I didn't pick the peach skin because of the colours, but it is a very nice fabric. The soft crepe was a little bit too lightweight for me, so although I loved this blue and I really like the fabric, it's just a tad too lightweight. It'd be perfect for something like this, like the Sew Over at Eve dress, which is what I'm wearing now, but for this ball gown, I was worried that it was going to just stretch the bodice because the skirt would be have a lot of fabric and I was worried that it just wouldn't have the same support so bear that in mind if you're going to use the soft crepe and then the fabric that I've ended up picking is the Florenza crepe which has a lovely texture to it uh, this is actually the same fabric we're going to use to line the skirt of Janine's dress and um, in fact she's oh no I don't think she's picked this colour she's picked a plum to line it and she's got a kind of burgundy um, skirt, um, the chiffon, which I'll also show you when that's here. Um, but the Florenza crepe is beautiful, so um, I picked this one, is what I've gone with, um, but not in this colour, because I didn't want to be like pink, pink on pink, um, I didn't want it to be like in your face pink, because although I enjoy sometimes being in your face pink, it does look a bit ridiculous at times. So I have gone for more of a this, no, I've gone for a Persian green, I think the colour is. But it's this lovely like jewel toned green that I think is going to really complement my pink hair and um, not be a plain boring colour. I didn't want to do like a classic like pink or a classic red, uh, like a bright red, which is why me and Jean have gone for slightly bolder colours um, in our choices. So, um, also for Janine's dress, I've got to actually dye the lace because we've bought white lace. So I've got to dye it to match the skirt, so that's going to be fun. Yeah, so that is my kind of update on this. 
I'm now going to insert um, a little clip of um, me wearing my um, finished up twirled ball gown and then hopefully next time I see you after that I will have the fabrics and I will be showing you the fabrics. Um, I probably won't be wearing any makeup, it's probably going to be one evening next week because I'm crazy and next week is kind of a week off. I'm doing stuff next week, all really busy, however that's going to leave me with five days to make two more counts. I'm crazy, I am crazy. Um, Mum is going to help me though, Mum said she's going to help me cut out and she's going to help me sew the zip in for this because the zip needs to be hand sewn in to the lining and I'm terrible at hand sewing. So I do have help, which is great. I'm very, very grateful for Mum helping me, but she's helping me mostly with Janine's um, just because of the fabrics used, etc. Uh, but I will update you guys when I start sewing my dress, when the fabrics have arrived, I will show you them all. I'm super duper excited to actually get going on this. So I will see you in a second. Okay, so here is the first twirl. And the skirt is a tiny bit too long, but that's fine because it does need to be hemmed. However, um, the waist is ever so slightly too small. So I need to drop it down and then add the length back onto the bottom. Um, so that's my plan for that. Um, just because the waist is kind of slightly too small. I hate the fact that I've lined this. I decided to line it instead of buy a spine finish it just because it looks neater. However, it just feels very bulky up here. So instead I'm going to create a facing that is going to be really thin and go all the way around the neckline. Just because that's so much easier, I think. Um, I also am going to take the neckline in um, about an inch. Um, just about. And I'm going to do the same this side. Smooth it out and down there. Here's a back view. I like the halter detail. Um, I really like the fact that it's like almost completely backless. So I'm going to keep that detail in for sure. Um, the length is going to um, be a work in progress. That's probably best to do once I have the fabric. Because obviously it needs to drop and stuff like that because it's a half circle skirt. And I've got to adjust the way I'm holding this. Um, but yeah, I think apart from really just making sure that I face this bodice instead of line it and make the bodice slightly smaller um, just because I think it's a bit more flattering because I am I have a small bust I feel like if it is smaller it makes it is in proportion so if I unpin this side you can see what I mean so if I completely unpin that although it still looks nice it's just not as in proportion as this side is see what I mean like it looks nice still it's just not as even as this side so that's my plan um I don't have the samples yet I'm in the intro that I've just filmed I've probably have shown you so you currently know more about the next process of this and um yeah, I'm very excited. I feel a little bit um, nervous that I now can't make any progress until I've bought fabric. And also, I am thinking of doing a contrast ribbon strap, um, just because I hate making straps, and I can get a nice pretty ribbon at work. Um, but I am very happy with this, and I think made out of a crepe, which is more than likely what I'm going to go with, um, I think it's going to look really beautiful. So um, I've now got to get uh, cracking on uh, Janine's, which I can't quite do yet because she's working today, but I'm going to try and get um, everything ready um, as much as I can. Yeah, so I'm very, very happy with this. Um, I'm not going to twirl it again. The next one I do is going to be the real deal. So I'm very excited. Okay, so excuse the fact I am in my pyjama top. I got into my pyjamas and remembered I wanted to quickly film a bit, but... Oh well. So, here is the fabric. The fabric has arrived. I've got five metres of the Florenza crepe in Persian green. And I do think it goes really well with my pink hair. I know that this contrast is probably not everyone's cup of tea, but I'm going to try and rock it anyway. I am going to try and cut this out tonight. I don't know what the time is. and I don't have my watch on. I know I have about two hours to get ready um, and go um, out tonight to a wedding reception and I also have to eat, I have to shower, um, I need to 
refresh of my makeup, refresh my hair and get dressed. So that might be a stretch, but I'm thinking whilst my dinner is cooking, I can cut this out because I can't leave it to shower, What? so I can't have a shower while I'm doing that. And I can't really do the rest until I've showered. So I think that's my plan. I've also got the zip, which is a perfect match. Perfect match to the fabric. Look at that. And I don't mind that it's not concealed because it is such a perfect match. Um, I generally just use concealed for when I can't get an absolute perfect match because I hate concealed zippers actually. Um, I really cannot stand them. I prefer a regular zipper just for like use really. Um, but a huge, huge thank you to Minerva Crafts for giving this to me um, to kind of sponsor the dress. So I'm super excited to cut this out and get going. So that's what I'm gonna do because I can't sit here and walk. So I have started construction on the dress. It has taken me about a week. Yeah, actually it's taken me a week to actually start to get into construction, which is slightly terrifying because I now have exactly a week until I, in fact, I will have to be there in an hour and 20 minutes today. No, next week. Does that make sense? Doesn't make sense at all. Anyway, I'm going to show you the bodice um, of what I'm doing to finish the seams. So, this is the pressed um, side and this is the non-pressed side. As you can see, pressing makes all the difference. I am having um, some little puckers show up. I might have to unpick that um, and go back in and fix it. But I have decided to pinking shear um, the edges because they... Um, they aren't fraying too badly, so I think pinking shearing is the best way to go So that's what I'm doing because as you can see on this press side You're not getting like a mark of where the the seam allowance is So I might have to go back in and fix that little puckered um, Bit but we'll see once the pieces are laid um, over each other so next what I'm going to do is attach the back pieces together so the back I will sew onto here and then I'll do the same with the facing because that's what I've decided to do and then I'll face all along and then I will um, kind of wrap it um, closed and then stitch in the wrap side in. I think I know how this is going to work but I'm not 100% sure. We're going to improvise. We're going to see. I've pinned the facing on and it's not quite sitting as flat as it's supposed to on this side, but it is on this side. For some unknown reason, on this side seam, I have a bunch of excess fabric that I don't have on this one. But this one, I have this strange thing happening. So I'm not quite sure what to do here. Because it's the, the facing that is definitely, I think, the issue, not the bodice. And I think it's just because this is a quite slippery fabric. I can't decide whether to cut this open and see how it lays then. And basically re-sew this with a larger seam allowance and then trim it back down. Or to just completely recut it. And I don't know what to do. So I will put back once I've made a decision. Okay, so I fixed this bit by literally just repinning it and it's just laying a lot better. And then to fix this bit over here, I had to cut a kind of triangle wedge out of this piece. I think it's simply just because this fabric slipped a lot as I was cutting it out. When I cut the lining for Janine's skirt, I'm definitely going to use a rotary cutter instead because it stops things moving a lot more. So before I go and sew this um, facing down, what I'm going to do is make the straps that I can then just insert in here and in here and then I can sew this all. It's a few days, well no it's actually the next day and my nails are looking very raggedy but I've come across my first problem. I've realised I've sewn up this side, both side seams and I obviously only wanted one side seam sewn up so I can actually put a zip in it because at the moment I can't get in it. So my plan is I'm going to unpick this um, this section here um, and then stitch the bodice together to get this in and hope to god that I can kind of make it all match up because at the moment 
it's a couple millimeters out in fact which side is better matched oh it's blurry yeah because it's not perfectly lined up so we're gonna have to make that work um but apart from that the bodice is looking good um this fabric just is it just no the fabric itself is really good i'm just worried it's not going to hold the shape i don't know I'm not going to know until this bodice is finished and I can at least just try the bodice on. I'm just worried that this is all going to like fall um, to the other side. And um, I'm not quite sure yet how I'm going to finish it. I don't know whether to just pinking shear it and leave it or pinking shear it and then hem it. Because I don't want there to be like an obvious line on the other side. Uh, but we'll see once I've unpicked this and um, sewn up the bodice. And then I will show you how it looks on. Okay, so it's not looking great at the moment, but with good reason. So basically, the problem that I'm having is the facing is coming out like so, and that is not helping at all. So what I'm going to do, and I think you, it's kind of, can you see it's kind of on the back there? Sorry, the angle was awful. But um, yeah, it it's pulling um, in places and it's making it not sit nice anywhere because it's not sitting right so what I'm going to do is ask my mum um, who's not home she's going to be home later today ask her if she can hand sew the facing down now the reason I'm asking her and not doing it myself is she's much better and um, much quicker and much neater at hand sewing and um, I want these dresses to look great and it's knowing your strengths and that hand sewing is not one of them so I'm going to ask mum to hand sew this facing down and I think that is going to really improve um, how the bodice fits um, because it is, yeah, just it's just pulling in places because the facing won't sit right. Um, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to take this off and pin the facing down and then try it on again. But apart from that I am actually really happy with it. It's a shame that there's a Strange thing happening here, but again, that might be because of the facing. But um, I'm really happy I decided to do these these straps, which again, they'll be hand sewn closed. Um, so basically, all I've got to do is just put the skirt on, and then it's pretty much finished. So that's really good. Okay, so the skirt is on and the zip is in. It has taken me quite a while to do, just because the seams are just so long. Um, but I'm not overly happy with the bottom of the zip on there um, but I think that that should steam out and um, also the hem is all over the place but again that's something that will drop out and steam out and once I've trimmed it and hemmed it it will be fine I've decided on doing a rolled hem on my overlocker I have loads of threads that are very very similar shades to this and I don't think you're going to notice that they're all slightly different and I'm going to do the rolled hem on my overlocker on that. But with the skirt on, it's definitely sitting a lot better on the bodice. And um, this side is ever so slightly lower, which is bothering me slightly. But nothing really I can do about that. It's just the way that the bodice sits. So I'm just going to try and make sure that this side is slightly tighter. Uh, the zip went in uh, really well. Um, although there is some pulling happening that I'm not overly happy with and uh, yes I know um, some people may say that this zip isn't the right zip to use for a ball gown however I can't use concealed zips and um, because of my hands so exposed zip it is but it's such a good match um, I can get away with it I think yeah so I'm really really happy with it um, it obviously is better when I put heels on and I'm not still wearing leggings underneath um, so this I'm now going to hand to mum and mum is going to hand sew the lining down um, she doesn't know this detail yet but she's going to hand sew it kind of along here and then hand sew it again just at the bottom of the facing so it doesn't flip out so that's my plan then I'm going to leave it to sit until Thursday when I'm going to then hem it so my plan is to hem both mine and Janine's on Thursday because um, I'm working Friday. Yeah, so that's the plan. So it's all good, really. Yeah, 
I'm very, very happy. Okay, so it's been several days since I spoke to you. Uh, maybe nearly over a week. I don't know. I have no I con no concept of time at the moment. Um, Ma has just taken Janine's ball gown down to do some finishing hand sewing, putting a hook and eye on, um, repairing a little like pulled strand, and um, sewing the belt closed because they require some good hand sewing and I don't have that skill. Um, I probably do, but I don't have the time or the patience or the energy because I am ill. I've got a cold, I've come down with a cold, which is typical because the ball is tomorrow. Um, yeah, so that's not ideal, but you know, life goes on. All that is left to do on my dress is have it. So I will show you what I've got. So I believe last time, what was left to do was kind of hand sew this lining down. So mum's done that really well. She's basically just understitched it and it has come out really well. It's sitting a little bit funny on the zip side. Um, it's kind of pulling like, like this, it's fine. But if I put it on, it kind of sits weird there, which is a shame, but you know, not much I can do about it. Uh, the main lining like at the bottom can't be sewn down. So I just have to kind of tuck it in and hope it doesn't come out. That's kind of all I could really do with the, the facing. Just realise how tired I look. Oh my god, I have bags really bad. Oh, oh dear. Um, yeah, so that's all been like hand sewn um, down, thanks to mum. And I've let it drop for a few days. For some reason, the front has come out ever so slightly too short. It'll be, I think it'll be absolutely fine. Um, it kind of just just about hits the floor and um, so it is fine it's, it's workable and um there we go. so what i did was i put the dress on and mum pinned it and um all is good there's quite a bit that needs to come off in some places so she's just pinned around and what i'm going to do is kind of lay it you can see the pin there and that's the edge what I'm going to do is basically fold the dress, the skirt, so I have a centre front and centre back over here. So the side seems just the middle. I'd do it here, but you wouldn't be able to see because it's so big. Um, and then I'm going to lay it down on the floor, get my rotary cutter my right, and my like cutting mat, and I'm going to kind of freehand, which I know sounds very scary, but you're kind of just playing dot to dot. And I'm going to join up the the the, heart, the circle, and um, that should give me a nice, uh, good shape to it. Well, that's what I did on um, oh, it's a bit of the outdoors on there. Thank you, Zebedee. Um, and that should give me a nice curve. That's what I did for Janine's hem, but Mama did have to help me a lot on that because the lining, and the outer layer, had some trouble lining up. But all is good. And then I'm going to do a roll table on my overlocker which when I get to that I will show you because I uh, I really like doing the rolled hair and I'll just show you guys kind of what threads I'm going to use because I don't have any that is a perfect match but I think I can get away with it. So I'm going to um, cut this and start getting it ready to hem set the machine up and then I will show you guys as I start hemming. Okay so I'm going to try and keep this bit really short and sweet but as thorough as possible it's been about two weeks since the ball i think two weeks yeah um and i'm now just filming the last part um i've kind of been a bit busy and all over the place in the minute so um that's why i've left it until now so i am wearing the ball gown um it has been washed since and i didn't actually need to iron it because this um poly crepe is amazing and it just doesn't really crinkle at all which is amazing and so here is the dress on. So there's a little tuck there that I'm not overly happy with, but hey ho. Um, and there's the back, and I will like pop in here like a full length shot, which I'm not wearing my high heels with it, so it's too long. Um, because I <laughs> fell over a rock, and um, my foot strapped up, and I thought it was doing better, and then I went on a ridiculous hike to find a lake yesterday and um, it hurts again. So um, I'm not gonna put my high heels on because I don't wanna hurt my foot anymore. 
but here you can see the dress in kind of full action and full swing and um, I am so happy with this dress. It's a shame that there are not many opportunities I can whip this out but definitely if I'm ever invited to another ball or another formal event this is coming out this is definitely going to be the go-to um you know it could maybe even be good for a i don't know actually i can't think of anywhere that i would wear this really other than a kind of fancy ball like occasion and um the night was really great um i had a great time um here's a picture of janine's dress as well um because i've made hers too and hers came out really well there was some staining on there though um, unfortunately because somebody spilt their drink on her so um, we're working on uh, getting that out but I think that may be a dry cleaner's job but we don't know what the alcohol is which doesn't help so if you have any tips for getting alcohol out of um, silk chiffon then please let me know because we don't know what alcohol it is and silk chiffon is obviously um, you know quite delicate and you have to be careful how you wash it so we've hand washed both of the dresses Janine's was hand washed twice and mine was only hand washed once just because mine was basically just like around the edges where it kind of like dragged on the floor a bit kind of as you as expect with a full length gown but um yeah I'm really happy with the dress and I'm so happy uh, that I drafted it from scratch and I also want to give like the biggest thank you to Minerva Cross for um giving me the fabric and uh, for this dress because um, it is amazing and um, it was amazing that they could sponsor me to do that and I have really enjoyed making this sew and tell kind of video or sew with me as I'm calling it um, I've really enjoyed doing this sew with me video so I'm definitely going to do more sew with me's in the future it's definitely going to be a reoccurring theme for me because it's been a really fun way to kind of document the whole process and kind of see the journey of how I made it um, and editing it has been surprisingly easy, so part one is already edited, part two is nearly edited apart from this bit, which I'm just going to throw in along the end um, to make it as simple for me as possible, and um, you will have seen the first part, and well the second part now since we're at the end of the video, duh. Um, but yeah, so I'm just really happy with um, this little two-parter that I've done, and there's definitely going to be more in the future, I just hope that you guys love the two-parter as much as I do. So um, I will see you all very shortly for another video. I am sewing again. I have broken the sewing band early and I am going to do a video talking about how to get out of your um, lack of sewing mojo because um, losing your sewing mojo is kind of the worst because, you know, it's your escape. It's your thing that you like to do and you don't want to do it and that's the worst. So stay tuned because that video is coming very shortly. So I will see you all soon. Bye.